Hey Tubes, how's she going today? So it's another cold day again. I probably should have the door down. But uh, she wouldn't be that bad if she wasn't so windy, you know, but shut this a little bit. Just so can't quite smush that cool air, right? So it's not airtight, but you know, it'll do for now. So there was one guy that suggested that I insulate these walls. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing it. I wanted to do it actually earlier this season. I wanted to start doing it, but I just never got around to it. So, and he was talking about a propane, ventless propane heater. I guess Northern Tool does sell them. So, I just don't know if they would be... It says that one was like 30,000 square feet or something. I don't know what the hell it was, but I don't know. It probably would be big enough to heat this shop. You know, I would like to heat this thing. So, I mean, it would be nice, but, you know, I think it's, it's definitely too late in the season to be doing much of anything now, really. So, I think I'm just going to let it go for this year. Maybe we'll try to do a little bit next year. Because, you know, this heater down here will never, will never heat the shop. It'll never get it hot enough. You know, and, of course, then to keep up with it, you know. But yeah, I think if we do insulate the walls, it would do pretty good. But see, the only thing then, the only thing then is that you would have to, I suppose, if you keep it within inside the studs. See, I don't know if if you'd have to, you know, put like sheetrock up on this, you know, on the walls after that. I don't really know if they have to, because I want to be able to keep my shelves and everything in place. Now these two over there would have to come out because they're like into the wall you know you know that's just the way i made them so they would have to come out because it wouldn't make any sense to insulate insulate up to the things because then you wouldn't have much for shelving after that so they would have to you know of course go bye bye so of course this one down here i broke i broke this one guys a little bit anyways i don't think i broke the thing i think it's the, the thingies that are holding it i think i broke one of those i probably did yeah, this one's broke. I don't know about this one. This one's probably broke too. Yeah, broke too. Yeah, I broke them. So it's just like these little things here that are these guys here that are holding them up. They're not nailed down or anything. They're just kind of like you know they just sit on top of it and stuff. And he was saying to in insulate the walls and then to throw a heater in here. Yeah, it would probably do pretty good. But another thing is too is that that door is not air really not really airtight either. A lot better than the other one, of course, up at the house. So, but this one would need some work too. But yeah, you know, I might do it maybe someday. I don't, it won't be this year, obviously. I got, you know, too many other things to, to deal with right now. So, still got to try to get uh, Big Red winch fixed and everything too. Get a new one, I mean. So, yeah. So that's what I want to talk about too, but now I can't fucking remember. Well, I got my stuff in this Northern Tool book here again. It's going to have you guys look at this tool again. I don't, not much of you guys said it has, had said anything about it, so... I don't know what you guys think, if you guys think it's stupid or not, but... You know, it's pretty cheap, so I might as well get it this month coming up, you know, and stuff, and... You know, and stuff, right? So... But yeah, I'm trying to remember what the hell else I was going to talk about. Fuck. Well, I know that um, Double O Strike was talking about the three point hitches for the tractors and stuff, and he says his can only lift 450 pounds. So he thinks, since mine's probably a little bit bigger model, he thinks it could probably lift maybe close to 500. Well, I really don't know. And I did some Googling and some Googling and then, of course, Google wouldn't tell me anything. So then I went to Bing and Bing, of course, didn't tell me anything either. But I managed to get a little bit of information on three-point hitches about that size. Now, this isn't accurate to a John Deere three-point hitch, but it's the next closest thing. And they were, they were saying about 500 pounds, but that's not a John Deere three-point hitch. That's another brand. But it was about the same size. It was a Category 1, so... 
you know, so, I don't know. But that was for an older John Deere tractor, too, but, you know, well, their favorite, this three-point hitch company was, well, they make three-point hitches for other make and model of tractors. Like, I could go to them and get a three-point hitch put on my tractor. I don't have to go, you know, to directly to John Deere. But see, then you'd have to put the three-point hitch stuff on yourself. And I don't want to do that. So, so, and the Double Strike put a, gave me a link to a, uh, kind of like a John Deere website, a little bit different. That was talking about three four inches and stuff for my tractor and the, the 540 PTO. And they were, I think, about 600 or so for the PTO, and then for the three point, well, it was about the same, a little higher than that. So, but of course, it wouldn't tell me what the lift, you know, lift capacity is on it. So, like, that's kind of the most important thing you want to know when you want to, when you're thinking about buying a three point hitch, is to know how much they'll hold, you know. I mean. Not everyone's going to know, and I don't know. Double Strike's not sure either, so, well, he said his lips 450 pounds, so maybe he is right, I don't know, but, well, he's not sure on mine, but he knows for his. And he said that his, in his uh, operation and maintenance manner, a bookie thing, um, it shows how much his 3 point inch will lift, and he told me what, kind of like, what, where to look, and I went and looked, and it doesn't say a damn thing about a three-point hitch. It doesn't say a damn thing about it. The only information that's in that book about a three-point hitch is just how to use it. You know, and how you can go from three-point hitch to mid-mount to front. You know, it, it just tells you how to do that. It doesn't say anything about three-point hitch lift capacity or how to fix something if it's broken. You know, you know, it doesn't say anything about it. So, and I, and I looked, you know, through that book pretty good. You know, so I don't fucking know what that was going on. He just, he told me just to call my John Deere dealer, and you know, that's really that's the only way you're ever going to know. And then for that guy saying uh, that New Zealand person, I think he's New Zealand. I don't know, but um, I don't think he's New Zealand because you know he kept making account after account after account and getting a hold of me. Right, each one said a different place where he lives, so he's lying about where he lives. So. Which, I mean, I don't give a fuck anyway where the hell he lives, but, you know. He was saying that they're only rated for about 450 pounds. And, apparently that was on Tractor by Net. Now, that website's probably a joke. I don't know for sure. I mean, everyone talks about it. You know, I don't even know if their shit's even accurate either. I mean, you don't know nothing until you just talk to your dealer yourself. You know. Really, really, my three-point hitch could, could lift five, eight, five, six hundred pounds. I don't know. It just a, it depends, you know. And I can't upgrade my tractor. I can't afford to upgrade it. So you know, get like get like a bigger model, you know. And what honestly, what's the difference? Yeah, I suppose the diesels would have more torque and more power and stuff. And of course, in the four-wheel drive. But you know, no. It, I think my tractor could do it just fine. You just got to find the right size snowblower and one that weighs less than 450 pounds. So, I looked at Land Pride snowblowers and I've been kind of looking them out, look at, looking at them. And I hate their website so goddamn much that every time you go to it, something's, it, it's always changed. Now I can't find the 54 inches, I find the 51 inches. Make up your fucking mind. Jesus. See, it's either 51 or 54, you know? That goes my geese. But their damn things keep fucking changing all the time. And then for a 51 inch, it still weighs 390, 390 pounds. So if my tractor can only lift, let's say, 450 pounds. 450 pounds. And then the snowblower weighs 390 pounds. And plus the quick hitch, which is another 68 pounds. I think I would be about, maybe about 8 pounds, probably over my limit. That's how I calculated it. It said that I would be 8 pounds over my limit. And if the 3 point hitch can lift 500 pounds, then I'm actually okay. I'm actually still in the green because the damn thing only weighs 458 pounds. The snowblower and the quick hitch all put together, that's 480 pounds. If I'm doing it right. So... I don't know how else you would add it together with a calculator. 
you think it would just be 390 plus 68. I don't know if it's, I don't think you'd use the times, you'd just use the plus, plus or minus. I don't know. So, you know, I don't know. So, all I'm going to do, I guess, is call my John Deere dealer when I'm ready to have it put on. Now, I'm hoping to get my great grandma's money. I would like, like, would like to get it this month because, well, not this month, but, well, what am I thinking? It's November. I was hoping, hoping for it to come in November, so, it, you know, I don't, it never really did. So, but it's supposed to come in December for sure. Oh, my ear's itchy. And I might have it done then. I don't know. I hope it starts over. I might do another cold start to it pretty soon just to see if it'll crank over now because it's been pretty cold the past week and a half. So, if I can get the tractor, you know, to the John Deere shop before the snow really flies, then I would be okay. I'm not worried about the snow blower. I'm more worried about the 3 4 inch of the PTO for right now. Because it's still going to take me probably... Oh, if I have to save it up out of each paycheck, it would probably be maybe a couple of years. Probably even more now. I don't know. It's about... Maybe about three grand. I'm not saying it's three grand, but it's under three grand for a snow blower for the back. So... You know, and the guy was saying um, I should go with a 48 inch. That was that, that guy that I thought was from New Zealand. Well... What I'm thinking of doing is, well, I'm not going to really do it. This is if, if it can't run a 51 or a 54 inch. I could buy a 48 inch Frontier blower, three point hitch. I don't really want to mess up the pretty paint job, but I might have to. If I could maybe build, you know, like extensions on it, maybe. Maybe it would make it, I just want it just big enough for the tractor. I want it just, you know, like a wee bit bigger than the tractor itself, just so I'm not running over the snow. So, I probably could build wings on it, you know, just reinforce it, because I'd have to buy a welder, too. So, well, that would be, you know, after I make the snowblower investment. But, I mean, if I get, the say, the 51 inch or the 54 or whatever, which one they decide to let me have, because the website's retarded. So, the 51 inch and the 54 inch both weigh 390 pounds. So, I don't know. And that guy that was showing the John Deere website, excuse me, you know, he found all that snowblower crap on there. Well, I can't even find it. I don't know. I don't know where the hell you even go for it. You think you would just go under residential, and then you think all your crap would be there? Because I'm not buying it for commercial use. It's just for you know myself. So it would be for residential or whatever the fuck the word is. So. think it would be around there. I think you think it would be on there somewhere, but I'm not quite sure. It's kind of weird how my door's moving. Creepy. So, by the way, I'm wearing my big winter boots already. Jesus, there's not, there's not much snow on the ground. It's just that it's just so damn cold out. So, but I don't know. It just, you know, I could go with the 48 inch, but then see the thing is then I would have to, you know, fuck it up and put wings on it. Like they wouldn't be like majorly huge wings. They would be just enough to get to the end of the tractor. Cause I don't know what, I forget what the width is on it, but I think it was over 40 inches, you know, wide, the tractor. I have to go back and look in the book again, but I ain't gonna fuck it. I already looked at the damn thing so many times today and yesterday. It was unbelievable. So, I don't know. Yeah. You can't do anything with the snow blowers until you know what the three point hitch can do. If the three point hitch can lift 500 pounds, then I'm a okay. But if it only lifts 450 pounds, that really could be a little, little bit of a problem. Now, I would only, if I did. If my 3 point hitch cone was 450 pounds, I would be 8 pounds over my limit. So, well, you know, you don't, you'd be over it by 8 pounds, and double strike things, it would be okay. It just, you know, it'd be a little slower going up. So, 
Well, the thing is, is that, you know, I think even if you go even just eight pounds over your limit, you're kind of really, really putting her to the test. You probably, you know, I don't think you would probably really break anything. You know, over time you probably would. You'd probably bend it all the shit. I mean, eight pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, for a small three-point hitch like that, it's awful hard on them. So, but I'm not going to worry about the snowblower deal until I get the three-point hitch and the PTO put on, and I know what that all can do. You know, I'm not going to worry about it. So, I don't know. But, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, it's, it's I just got to see what the three-point the three hitch can do. That's the only thing I can do. Double strike said I should call my dealer and ask, you know, well, I'll probably do it as soon as I know how much money I'm getting from my great-grandma. And Double Strike showed me, like I said, that about that John Deere website, or whatever the hell, well, it's like a John Deere website, but... You know, six hundred dollars I think it was for the PTO, and then a little over in the book it was eight hundred and fifty nine. But I think on the it was about the same on the website. I can't remember, but but you know, my mom calculated it all together. Now this is just for the PTO and the three point hitch put on the uh, the total. This this does not include labor labor costs and stuff like that. We're talking about fourteen hundred just for that. Never mind the freaking, you know, the labor cost. Then for them to have to come and get it, you know, they would tack on probably a few bucks here and there. And then to bring it back, another few bucks here and there. I mean, if I get, like, $2,000, which I'm kind of, you know, really doubting, but if I get $2,000 from her, I think I'd be okay then. I don't know. You see, you'd have to talk, talk to John Deere and tell him everything, you know, and then, this and that and this and that, you know, and then they can calculate it for me. So, but I'm not going to worry about the snowblower deal. I'm sure there's some kind of a snowblower out there that's just right for it. You know, which, you know, Land Pride's kind of all right. Frontier's okay, too, but I don't really want a Frontier because I'm just so sick of seeing them everywhere. You know, another thing is, too, I've seen a, uh, just happened to see a John Deere video. Now, this was for the x 748 you know, of course, a bigger machine. He had a Land Pride uh, tiller on. So what's wrong with the Land Pride snowboard? What the what the hell is the diff? You know, he's running a, a, a Land Pride uh, tiller, so that means I could run a Land Pride snowboard too. You know, I mean, you think since he's got a John Deere tractor, he'd want like a John Deere tiller or a Frontier tiller? Nope, he went with a Land Pride. So I'm not the only one that thinks this way too. You know, I mean. Some people like John Deere, and they want another make and model, you know, son of a bitch, you know. They don't want to all stick with John Deere and Frontier. Yeah, it matches the machine, but, you know, some people just don't give a fuck. Just as long as they work, and they last a long time, they're okay with it. And, of course, I'd be okay with it, too. So, but, you know, you know how, you know how some people are. I just think that he's just jealous, I think, you know. Like, I told you guys I wasn't really going to talk about it anymore, but, you know, they just, I just think that he's just, you know, either stupid or, I don't know, I mean, I'm not saying that he is stupid, I'm just saying, you know, that, don't worry about it, you know, just be happy that I'm even thinking about doing something, you know, see, I don't think he knows about Big Rich Winch, you know, being all tore the shit, but, you know. Oh yeah, another thing too, guys. This is this really really kind of creeped me out. Um, a couple of nights ago, I was on Facebook. I was on my fake account because I got two of them, you know, two Facebook pages. And I forget what the hell I was doing, but then I had gone back to my main page. And who did I see on the uh, list of people you may know? That Trent guy, Trent uh, Hickford, whatever the fuck his dumb name is. Found him. So I don't, don't ask me how he come across that that thing, but he was there, so I just went and automatically blocked him. I ain't gonna put up with it. So why well, he he wouldn't know it's if it's me or not anyway. So, but I mean I'm not gonna put up with. It. I'm just gonna block him wherever I possibly can. I'm only on Facebook and YouTube, so you know. So I just 
blocked them on there too. I gotta go to my real account and do it too, but you know, he never popped up there, so I ain't gonna worry about it. But so that's why I don't have YouTube or for, well, Facebook. I did have Facebook linked to YouTube at one time, but then I took it down because well, nobody really cared anyway. So you know, whatever, it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. So. I don't know what, how he got across, how he got on there. I don't fucking know. I have no clue. So if you're watching his buddy video, yeah, I blocked him on Facebook too. I, was, I think it was you, I don't know. Well, it was the same name, so. So whatever. Anything that says Trent Hickford or numbers or that are the same as what his YouTube channels are, I'm just, I'm just gonna block him. I don't care if, they, if it just happens to be a different guy and he's friendly as fuck, you know, I don't care. I'm just gonna block them. I ain't gonna put up with it. So, but yeah, but anyways, guys, I want you guys' opinion on this tool. Now I'm gonna show you two of them, but I kind of like this one. Um, this is an air tool, and I'm already fucking cold. God damn. It. And it's for sale. Well, it's kind of on sale, I guess. I don't know, but well, it's twenty-seven ninety-nine, and the other one was like nineteen ninety-nine or something, a little cheaper, but um. Well, I already got this in my list or in my add to cart thing on Northern Tool, but I don't really know if I'm, I'm not. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I just want your guys' opinion. So, so make sure everyone watches this video and leave me some opinions and stuff. So the first tool is this this tool again. I think I showed this earlier, but I can't quite remember. The three inch air cutoff tool requires you know a three eighth hose minimal size no bigger than that whoops i am showing you well i'm just guessing reading this stuff off but there's that tool this is a whatever brand that is you know um if you guys think that's junk well northern tool makes their own too why is my camera there northern tool makes them too um it's like light I'll put the link in the description for both for you guys to check it out. I'll put I'll put both of them. Um, and they have this Northern Tool one, Northern Industrial, for twenty bucks. I mean, I kind of like the other one better. You know, it's better quality, I think, than the Northern Tools. I mean, I really like Northern Tools tools, but I don't know. This one seems like it's going to be some trouble. I don't know, maybe you guys will say it's the best tool in the world. It's even better than the other one. But that's up to you guys. To uh, focus camera. Thank you. This is a 3 inch too. Yeah. Because this doesn't... This, this is not included. The wheel. The 3 inch wheel. But I found those on Northern Tool too. I think the ones that would fit to this guy that's over on this page would fit to this guy too because they're 3 inch. So, you know. See... Um, you get a 10 pack of, uh, discs, you know, for like eight bucks, nine bucks. So that's actually pretty good. Now this is the same as kind of like my grinder, but this is just like a cutoff wheel. This is just so you can right through bolts real quick and it's air powered. So, but yeah, I don't know what you guys think. I should either get this one or the, the Northern tool one. Excuse me. I don't know what you guys think. It's up to you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, then they have a powered uh, grinder too. Air powered one, just like the one I got in the house. You know, but fuck it. The other one's fine. So, so it's up to you guys to see what you think. Either this brand or the Northern Tool brand. This one's what's in my list or in my, you know, add to cart thing, but it's up to you guys. I did see the videos on it, you know, and they seem like pretty good machines, so I didn't really look at the reviews, but I probably should have done that, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. But let me know what you guys think, and then I'll put the links in the, in the description. You guys can check her out. And stuff, and stuff, so, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's it on this, then, for that. This is, this is the newest book that I have, and I think my name's on the back, I think. No, maybe not. No, I'm not seeing my name on here. So, no, because this is a thank you for your order book. 
So I guess there wouldn't be no address on the back. So this is the newest book I have. So well, I got the other newest one too, but that one's you know, you know a few weeks older than this guy. So I don't know, but. Well, yeah, let me let you know. Sorry about that damn thing in the side. Of the you guys see that? No shit. I'm sorry about that. So, let me know what you guys think of that tool. I'll put the links in the description. You can check her out. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, it's, it's decently cheap, so I figured why not get it, you know? You know, it was a 10 pack of discs for like, you know, 8 9 bucks. That's on, That's honestly, that's not bad at all for a 10 pack yet. So, I thought you would probably go through them like crazy. But, you know, I might as well, they're cheap, and they would probably last me long enough. Like, I'm not going to be using it now, obviously, so. But, I mean, oh, look at that nasty web up there. Ooh, yeah. I've never seen that up there before. Urgh. Yeah, that's a big old cobweb, boys. This corner of the shop is the dirtiest. I think it's a spider nest, honestly, I think that is. Oh, well, fuck it. That's probably where all the spiders are coming from, I bet. I thought we should take a flamethrower to it and burn them all the shit. God damn, did I do that again? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So. Whatever. See the cars. So, um, let me know what you guys think of that. Those two holes. Either one, I guess, would be alright. They're both three inch. You know, I don't, I don't think they make anything, anything smaller than a three inch. So, well. They're not. So. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think, and then, uh, and stuff, I guess. So, yeah, I got some other stuff to tell you guys. Um, North, uh, Northern Tool, wow. Savage No More was bitching about some stuff. Like, he couldn't do anything, you know, like, just, like, I just leave comments and crack and stuff. Well, I kind of wonder if I ain't having kind of some, some of my own problems, because... Well, he's having more, obviously, but I don't know what the hell's going on, boys. I don't like. I have two windows open on my computer. You know, that's what I call them, windows. You know, but I have one open, you know, to upload videos, and then I have another one open just to, you know, to go do whatever. So you know, for like YouTube, I guess, or Facebook, or you know, or the Northern Tool website, you know, or whatever. And it keeps saying on. The window that where I'm uploading my videos, it keeps saying, well, it, it did it, I think about twice today, and it did it a couple times yesterday too, that I had logged out. But how the hell is that? You know, I never had that problem before. So I don't know if it's just maybe like a glitch. Because when I I had uploaded a video before doing it like that, and it did go through, but I don't know today's video didn't. Or I had uploaded a video last night. I figured it would be done by morning so I got up and I was getting ready to go edit it, edit it and everything and I went and looked in here it was still processing so obviously it, it didn't go through and I know that that or Savage fuck what the hell is his goddamn name and our actor six said that he was having some trouble even uploading while well, he would upload them and then they wouldn't work for him so he had to redo them well I think I'm kind of getting that problem too a little bit but I keep getting logged out but it says that I log out, but then when I click on it to, uh, you know, leave, to put something in, in the description or the title it or set the uh, category, it, you know, it works. So I don't know why the hell it's saying that I log out because I never did. So, so I don't know if it's maybe just getting confused because I have two windows open or what, but that shouldn't matter because I've done it before. But it's probably because of that fucking Google Plus bullshit, you know. Like, I just, I don't know why the hell we're having so many problems. You know, I mean, just put it back to the way it was. You know, it's stupid. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Savage Moore's having a hell of a time even trying to even do anything. So, crap for me isn't working. Stuff for Inner Arthur 6 isn't even working. You know, it's getting kind of, kind of, you know, kind of, kind of stupid, you know. So, but that's Google Plus for you. And there was no reason why YouTube had to had to sell their website to Google. You know, I mean, you invented it, so why not keep it? No, you just wanted this fucking money. Well, that money ain't gonna last you for the rest of your damn life either. So, not if you keep keep blowing it like a cocksucker, you know. Stupid little goofball, but you know, whatever. So, I don't know, boys. <clears throat> I 
I just don't think, uh, pe you know, there's going to probably be, I'm sure, some, some people that, that are going to, you know, quit. I don't know who, but Savage and Morrow's kind of talking about it again, but, you know, I kind of think, you know, he would have, have a kind of a hard time leaving it, but, you know, what can you do, right? Like, I was going to quit, too, but, you know, you just, you're so used to doing it, you know. You're used to grabbing your camera, firing it up, making a video about something, you know, and then, then you go and you upload it. You know, it's kind of hard to, I guess, you know, break that habit, even though you would after, over a, after a while, but, you know, it's just kind of something that we got used to, and it's just something we do normally now, and I guess quitting would be kind of, kind of a hard thing to do, but, you know, some, some people don't have a problem quitting, but, you know, so, but, well, you know, what the hell can you do, you know, it's just the way it is, so, so, yeah. Well, you know, whatever, you know, but stupid Google bullshit, you know, what can you do, right? So, and I think, uh, Justin, I think you were talking about these 10 things. Um, yeah, I just got, I just got bolts and shit in them. I think this one's got the new bolts and the nuts and stuff, and then this one's got the old ones. And that one up there is empty. I just brought that one in here just like a month ago or so. And then these things here, this one's got the washers and this one's got screws. Of all kinds. So, yeah, that's what's in this. That's what's all in this crap here, Justin. I think I told you why, you know, what was in here, but probably didn't explain myself too well. But there you go, Justin. That's what's in, that's what's in those. Oh, that one, that one's empty. We'll be, put, we'll be putting something in there soon, I'm sure. So. Yeah. I think there's other stuff I was going to talk about too, but now I can't fucking remember. God damn it, now i got to make another video about it later on. Because I'll probably forget. Or I'll probably remember later. And then... Whatever. Interesting. I thought I heard a helicopter. I heard a helicopter yesterday. And the day before that, so. Whatever. I guess let me know what you guys think of the tools. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description and stuff for you and stuff. So. Yeah. Fucking right. I think it would cost a lot of money to uh, insulate these walls. I don't, I don't even know how much that shit goes for nowadays. No, insulation bullshit. I know where to get it from, but I just don't know the damn price of it. That's the thing. And this wall's got the freaking nails in it like a son of a bitch. <laughs> it's just like, you know. So. Whatever. But yeah, maybe someday we'll insulate these walls. You know, not now. It's too late in the season. I gotta figure things to work on. So. Anyways, guys, I guess I'll take off for them for today, since I can't remember what else I was going to fucking talk about, so I'll probably end up making another video, so. Yeah, but anyways, guys, I guess I'll take off for today, I guess, so, uh, so yeah, I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys later.